This is so fucking drunk. Yet again, when I attempt a nail review. Next one I'm trying to attempt is a. Uh, when they are use uh, poor drunkers out there I might know about. There's a uh, old Tom. Uh, strong ale. It's a uh, eight point five on the old Richter scale. I love the character of the bottle. Big Tom cat on it. Claw your eyes out. The old Tom bit. I like that as well. I like. I like to see a bit of imagination going into the bottle. There we go. Oh, it's upside down. There we go, there's the old Tom Cat crown, which I like to collect these and it's nice to know it likes a, a bit of imagination goes in there. There we go, old Tom voted Wolves best deal. Well don't know who voted you. It hasn't had the sofa king drunk rating yet. Only kidding. I dare say you're superior AO anyway. But, there you go, I'm not like any other real re ale reviewers out there. I know jack shit about ales. I know what I like, what I taste. So here we go, we'll try again. There it is in the glass. Cannot see that through that at all. Nice and dark. I had a scene once before that you never drink anything you can't see through. But ever since I started drinking nails, that's a lot of shit. Well, I think it is personally. Uh, we'll have a go at it. We'll have a go at the nose. I'll always have a go at the nose. Uh, I never seem to get it, but I'll try anyway. Well, what I get from that is a lot of fruit. Major fruit. It smells like a uh, Christmas cake. Christmas cake and it's like as if your uh, your old granny got a holiday as well and just like put some like port it smells like port or something like that anyway you you steep you steep Christmas cake mixture in it. That's what it tastes like. It smells like that. It's, it's it's absolutely. It's got a nice aroma actually. Old Tom Zeal. Voted the best deal. Voted Will's best deal. What an accolade. To get there. So, we'll, we'll have a go. We've had a sniff and we did get sniffs off that one. <laughs> I normally don't get any sniffs, but here we go. Go for the taste now of the old Tom original. Well, all I can say to you is, guys, that's fantastic. That's got a fantastic, that's eight and a half percent, you don't taste the alcohol from that at all and it, it's like, it's like drinking Christmas cake, fruit, that's all you're getting from that fruit and there's a mild, a mild uh, throwback of port, a rich ruby port, it's Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the old Tom. I'm going to dive in again and see. Sometimes I'm a great believer in if you tried something, uh, 
like I said, sometimes it for the first time you try it the second time it tastes differently because your palate and everything's coated in it. So we'll go back in here again and try some more of the old Tom. Oh, that that tastes fantastic. It it does. It's it's as I said before. It's enhanced the the flavors of the the fruit the fruit cake Christmas mix I'm getting from it, and it's like Christmas cake without marzipan. Marzipan gives you heartburn. This stuff is like. If they could just make a Christmas cake with it using marzipan, that's what you're getting. The port, the port is. I like port, but the only thing about port is it, it repeats on me, and it's that is that is absolutely outstanding. Uh, I'd recommend this beer to anybody. And see that there, old Tom, the world's, the world's best ale, 8.5 in a Richter scale. I tell you, <laughs> you'd be hard pushed to move that away from that accolade. And there's a big muggy cat on the front here, the old Tom cat there. Well, as I have to do it. Give it a sofa king, king run, eh, so, with a few, eh, <laughs> Roy Kinnears, I've had a few beers tonight, eh, a sofa king, king, eh, I can't even see my own tag, sofa king, oh, forget it, I'm going to give it a rating, it's eight and a half percent, you have to let me off with that, I have reviewed a few tonight, I'm going to give Old Tom an 8.5%, 8 8.5 out of 10, an 8.5, because it's, it's ranked on, it's just, it's, oh, I don't know, it just merits it, it's, it's strong, it's strong in character, it's got personality, the packaging's got personality, and it's, I say strong in personality, it's no overpowering. I, I hate beers that you drink them and all you think is that's alcohol, pure alcohol. This is absolutely it's it's lovely. It's lovely beer. So I hope uh, this review this review is gonna be a wee bit helpful for you. It's carrying on a wee bit so if uh, you want to re uh, comment or you've tried it or you think I'm talking a lot of mints, please comment below. If you like what you see, please uh, subscribe. I'm going to post these up anyway for the simple reason is I love beer and this beer is fantastic. It's liquid bread, it's good for you. So please uh, comment. And this is so fucking drunk saying, cheers now.